Hey guys, it's Jamie from Legend Gaming. This video, I got a bunch of Battlefield 1 leaked concept art. Obviously, this isn't mine, but this is resurfaced online in a, in a bunch of areas earlier this morning. Obviously, wasn't able to make a video this morning because I was at school, but this is a bunch of leaked concept art, 45 or 46 images, I believe. This is just absolutely awesome. Um, this is a bit of a different video. I'm going to be on my computer for the most part going through them, and just because I found it would have been too tedious to go through and get every single image and this way I can use my mouse and point to the individuals, individual spots that I'm talking about which is also a lot easier uh, just for you guys and for me as well. Uh, so this first image is of a battleship and this looks like epic naval warfare that we might see in Battlefield 1. I mean you can see three battleships right here and then various boats that are heading towards it. Um, I don't know if there will be a mode like carrier assault in Battlefield 1 but that could be absolutely awesome if there was in my opinion. Um, this image also shows water and enemies progressing into a city. This sort of looks like a dusk time. So later in the afternoon, you can see the moon there. So it could be closer to night. Um, I'd really like to see dynamic weather and uh, daytime, nighttime in Battlefield 1. And we only have to wait six days until the Battlefield 1 reveal, which I'm also super hyped for. Uh, this guy just looks like he has more armor. This is something that actually concerns me is the fact that we see armor here. I mean, even if it is realistic to the war, I really don't want another defensive perk in Battlefield 1. And ultimately, this is just frankly a bit concerning to me that we have all this armor on a character. But maybe this could just be the support character or something. But I just really hope that we don't get a ton of armor uh, like we did in Hardline with the uh, mechanics body armor, uh, which honestly was really overpowered, but not as bad because it was only for one class. But the defensive perk for Battlefield 4 was just so annoying. Here we can see a Zeppelin crashing and about to burn. I don't know if that means the Zeppelins will be able to be shot down. I'm assuming if they are, they'll take a ton of damage to be able to be shot down. Um, or something crazy by another uh, boat, or sorry, another plane. Because they're huge targets and move very slowly. So if they were super easy to hit, I would find it hard to believe that they'd stay in the air for too long. This image, not really sure what that is exactly. And this one shows that we're going to have rain maps, which is really, really awesome. Um, you can see another Zeppelin or blimp in the background and this sort of tank here. That I don't know if that's just climbing up or it's turned over. We can see that we're going to be fighting inside cities. Um, not sure exactly what city this is. It looks like it's in Eastern Europe, probably. It looks like bright. You can see a sniper right there. So it looks like could be the M1903, at least the scope looks like it's the similar style scope from the M1903. But this is just absolutely awesome. And this picture is insane. I'm like 95% sure this photo is from London. You can see the Zeppelins attacking the city with all the planes. I just can't wait. It's so exciting that we're actually getting warfare inside cities rather than just the trench warfare that we thought we might get in this game. Here we just see some more brutal up-close melee combat. We see some shovels. We see some of the spiked clubs. We see another flat club. We see what looks like a long knife. And then a short dagger there. And then, yeah, these shovels... Or, that's an axe. Oh, crap. Yeah, these seem extremely brutal. This this is epic. This is a freaking guy standing on a train. He looks like he's going to snipe the pilot with his pistol. So that's just absolutely awesome. I think they're just trying to showcase the epic battlefield moments we could have. This is some guy. He's either, he's probably dropped down from a Zeppelin here, or he's just in a hot air balloon, which could be really interesting. But I'm almost certain that he's probably just dropped down from a Zeppelin. Like, he's probably located around here on his Zeppelin. We see somebody parachuting down, and this could be an example of the uh, pilot only classes that we see because I do not see him carrying a gun. I just see him carrying a pistol Which is interesting and he looks similar to this guy But at least with the helmet and the pistol that he's holding But this could mean that the pilot only classes only get a pistol because he doesn't seem to have much else He seems to have some equipment over here But I think for sure that he maybe jumped out of that plane right there after that plane destroyed it We see another image of the flamethrowers, which is pretty cool. Nothing too much and then we see another, this image actually, whoa, if we go up here. Okay, actually, let's get these side by side. See if that's the same map. Because if that is, that could mean that we're getting dynamic weather. So the first one's here. 
Second one's all the way at the bottom. I'll show you some of the more photos at the top that we saw. Oh. Okay. Could this mean we see dynamic weather? Because this is the exact same photo, just in a different setting. Okay, that's actually really interesting. Wow, okay, that's really cool. Tell me what you guys think, but I'm pretty sure these photos look the same. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, I'll scroll back up to the top and show you some of the more, some more of the photos that I didn't get to show you at the beginning. So we started at the ships. Okay, started right here. So that looks like a guy with a Lewis gun, some tanks. See some of the destruction we might see. This one's actually really cool. This is the armored train in action. You can see people operating it along the side, a bridge blowing up. The armored train I'm actually super hyped for, and you can see in the desert all the people charging down on the horses, which is epic as well. You can see an anti-air machine gun here. Okay, I'm just I'm trying to contain my excitement here, but this just looks so absolutely awesome. I was I expressed my possible skepticism of the game in one of my uh, videos a couple days ago but this just makes it look so much more awesome oh my goodness and this is okay wait a second okay this looks like the same location as the last one too it is okay yeah, this is like proof of dynamic okay I might talk about that a bit more in a later video but okay, that's pretty awesome. We see a boat here. Not exactly sure what's on that, but it looks pretty cool. Um, this is just looks more like inside gameplay uh, of inside buildings and stuff. Destruction of this cabinet here. We already saw that concept art. Um, I believe we may have had this one too. But it looks like that's in probably Greece, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the canals, that's pretty cool. You can see the destruction everywhere though. The tank just, oh my gosh, you can fight in palaces and stuff. I wonder how many multiplayer maps are going to be, because this looks like there's such a wide variety of maps and stuff. This is from the inside of a Zeppelin, which is really, really sick. How you can see out and look across the battlefield. And you can see the network of trenches down there as well, which is just absolutely epic. And again, you can just see that a train just split apart here. I'm assuming this might be campaign, because this looks a lot more like campaign than uh, multiplayer. And this is another one that just through the woods fighting. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I mean, those are just all the images I had. You saw me hint towards that weather thing that I just discovered. That will probably be up in a vi another video later tonight. But other than that, I probably won't be posting too much. I have another uh, Call of Duty video. I just want to briefly post just a one or two minute video. You guys, don't hate that, please. I mean, it's just I'm already playing Call of Duty, so I just thought I might as well upload it. And... I'm going to upload that probably later this week, but until the Battlefield 1 reveal, I've got a ton of finals and stuff. Not too much time to make videos. This one didn't take too long. It's just my personal opinion on it. But again, don't forget to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new here for everything Battlefield 1. I will be completely covering the event, giving you everything you need to know about the game. So don't forget to stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you are new here. That's what it is for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.